Hey, how's it going folks? ET here with another iMovie tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to show you how to work on that iMovie limitation that only lets you do one video layer. So here's an example here of how we worked around that iMovie limitation. And we put two video picture in a picture boxes. And another one here where I put a watermark and another video picture in a picture. Let me go ahead and play this one so you can see. So you'll notice we have a video here and we actually have an image as a watermark down here. All right, let's get into it. The first example I'm going to show you is the video with the watermark and the, the picture in a picture. So first thing you're going to do is grab a piece of video. We're going to drag it into the timeline. Make sure we have the right one here, this one here. All right, so we have a video here with no watermark, no video bug or whatever they call it. We're going to grab our image here. We're going to drag it on top and we're going to stretch it the length of the video. I'm going to double click. I'm going to go up to my layer tool, go to picture in a picture. And I'm going to move it to the corner where I want it, right here. I think that's pretty good. Then I'll throw like a shadow on it or something. Yeah, that looks good. Okay, so step one is done. Now what are you going to do? You're going to share the movie. You're going to export it to your desktop. You're going to go up to the top right corner. You're going to go to File. You're going to make sure it's at the setting you'd like your final product to be at. So we'll do 1080p, 60. Quality is high. It's good enough. If you need to do higher to make sure you're not losing any, just go uh, best ProRes, but I usually just use high. And then for compression, do the better quality. Then you can name it video number one. Okay, and we'll just go ahead and export that to our desktop. Okay, our video is done. We're gonna hit close. Now what I'm gonna do is actually delete the stuff that's in the timeline right now. And you can delete this or you can make a new project, it doesn't matter. Then now I'm going to import media. You can drag it in, you can hit this button here, you can go to the file menu. Let's go to desktop, we're gonna go to video one, we're gonna import selected. And now our video one is ready to go, so we'll drag this into the timeline. So now you've officially done your first layer, so that one's down there. Okay, now we can add our second picture in a picture. So you can see how the workaround works now. You do your first picture in a picture, you export it, and then you bring it back in as either a media clip or you can open a brand new project. It doesn't matter how you do it. So let's add our next piece of video here. We'll just grab this tire shot here, throw it on top. We don't need that much. So let me cut up a little bit here. Okay, I'm going to double click to select the clip. I'm going to go up to the top here. I'm gonna select picture in a picture. And now we have our next video overlay setting. But we're still within the limitation that iMovie has of only one video or image overlay. Let's go ahead and throw a border on it so you can just see it really well. Change the color to white. Uh, yellow, I guess that's good enough. Maybe throw a shadow on it, whatever you want to do. And now you officially have a video with two overlays. You have the watermark down at the bottom right corner, your logo, your identity, your branding. And then now you have a video up here. You can put pretty much anywhere you want, really. It doesn't matter. You can put it in the middle, put it up there, put it up there. And as you can imagine, if you need to put more, what are you going to have to do? Well, you're going to have to export this to your desktop, bring it back in, and then you can add another video if you want. So that way you could have one on the left, one on the right. But that's the workaround for iMovie. If you want to avoid this totally, Grab your credit card, your debit card, and buy Final Cut Pro X for $2.99, and there's no limitations there that I know of. Or you can go download Blackmagic DaVinci Resolve. There's a free beta, and you can use that. But it's a new piece of software. You'll have to learn it. It is available on Mac and PC. Alrighty, I want to thank everybody for watching. As usual, don't forget thumbs up, subscribe, comment, all that good jazz, and we'll talk to you next time. Peace and aloha.